What's up, YouTube? My name is Vic. I am the Brooklyn Watch Guy. And if this is your first time on this channel, my channel is all about watch buying, collecting, unboxings, and reviews in the affordable range, which I define as $1,000 or less. If you're into that, I invite you to stick around, watch the video. If you like it and make it to the end, hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell so you know every time I put a new video up. So it's going to be the first video of 2023. I do want to wish all my subscribers a very happy new year. May your 2023 be better than 2022. For those who are sticking around and stay with the channel, I do apologize for my very inconsistent upload schedule. I have a job where my work schedule is very unbalanced and it's just been crazy from like October till now. I, I do have a little bit of uh, consistency right now, so I, I should be able to upload on a more consistent basis. Uh, this video is going to come out today which doesn't follow my normal upload schedule i just wanted to get a video out plus uh the nature of what i'm about to review i, I do want to get it out you know while there's still time uh but after this video i will follow my normal upload of uh, one video on sundays at 8 a.m this video is going to come out today as soon as i finish editing so uh, without further delay let's get into this i want to talk about my first watch pickup of 2023 and well i don't have it <laughs> Uh, you see there's nothing on my wrist. I, I'm actually not one of those guys that does a wristwatch check every video. Unless you guys want that, let me know in the comments. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll put on a different watch every video. But, uh, no, no. My first uh, pickup of 2023 is actually a Kickstarter campaign watch. Um, I have bought from Kickstarter before in the past. Uh, I actually bought a Pebble. A Pebble and a Pebble Time through Kickstarter. Um, those were very cool smart watches way before the, uh, the actual Apple watch, uh, you know, took off and, uh, I, I believe, uh, Fitbit bought them out years ago and, and they pretty much killed the brand off. But before, you know, the Fitbit and, uh, the Apple watch came to be, uh, the Pebble was actually like the go-to thing. It was a pretty good, reliable, uh, uh, smart watch, you know, it, it did the job and I, and I pretty much stayed with it till, till the end. I still actually have it. Now it's just pretty much just tells time. A lot of the functionality, you can't use it anymore. But um, it, it, it was a good buy. You know, it, it's lasted. It's still working to this day. And that's why I, I don't mind buying things from Kickstarter. The few things that I have bought from Kickstarter, I've bought more than watches through Kickstarter over the years. Um, I have no complaints about them. You see, what I like about Kickstarter over other places like Indiegogo, for say, let's say, to actually put your product on Kickstarter, you have to provide them with a working prototype. Um, that's, that alone right there sells me because with Indie, Indiegogo and, and some of these other uh, uh, crowdfunding uh, platforms, they don't need to provide anything uh, to prove that they have a working product. And I've been burned <laughs> on, on some of these other uh, um, uh uh, crowdfunding uh, uh, websites uh, you know I back projects that, that charge me and um, I never got it you know it's happened to me about two or three times after that I said enough kickstart is the way to go and honestly I'll tell anybody that's thinking about crowdfunding something if it ain't kickstarter don't do it at least with kickstarter if you don't get the product you will get your money back with these other groups I never got a dime back so you know that's the uh, that's the downside of it but the, the watch that I, that I, that I did buy, uh, and I will put screenshots in of, of all the specs and all that stuff, it's from a company called, I believe their name is Body Scaffo. I, I, I'm, I'm sure I butchered that, but the watch is the Body Scaffo Zero. It's a bronze dive watch that's going to offer 20 bars or 666 feet of water resistance. Um, I do believe that for this company, this is their second campaign on Kickstarter. Um, and one of the other also pluses of Kickstarter is that you can go into this uh, company's history and see their their history in the 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 the, the, the Kickstarter group. Um, so you can see if there's been problems in the past. You can look at all the feedback and stuff. So it does it, it you know with all that information available to you, you should be able to make a sound decision whether or not to support them or not to support them. Uh, I liked what I saw. I like the design of the watch. I think it's very cool, very unique looking. Ultimately, that's why I bought it. Or, uh, well, I didn't buy it yet. Uh, I kind of did, I guess. I don't know. I guess you could say I bought it. Or I will buy it. Uh, <laughs> and and I'll, I'll explain it a little further. Um, but the, the watch is supposed to be delivered, 
between May and July of this year. Um, you're going to get the option of two movements. is a NH35, I believe, and a Salida movement. And uh, I, I will be putting screenshots and screen recordings of all this stuff so you guys can see for yourselves. I think the watch is very cool, very unique looking. You're going to get four color choices for, for the dial. Um, me personally, I mean, I'm leaning towards that British green or that black. Even though that British green and black is really hard to tell the difference. Um, I just like the way they look with the loom. Uh, it is photo luminova, super luminova, excuse me. Uh, so super luminova, so it's going to be very bright. Um, and I just like the case, um, that bronze case, when it starts to get weathered up, uh, I, I think that's going to look super cool. The, uh, the straps that it's going to come with kind of have like a weathered look. Um, it, it, it's just, it looks rugged to me. It looks cool. It, and it's just, man, it's something that I would wear. I, I like things that are different, I like things that are unique. So that's definitely right up my alley. Um, I believe the price is, if you get the NX35, I believe it's going to be like $299. Uh, the Salida is going to be about 500 and all that stuff will be in the screenshots. Um, ladies and gents, if you want to support this campaign, if you want to back it from the time that I record this video, which is Monday, January 2nd, you have five days. You have five days to go on Kickstarter and back this campaign up. So you have till Saturday to back it up if, if you choose to. Um, I will link it all in the description of the video below. And, uh, you know, with the screenshots and stuff, hit that link. Uh, and check it out for yourselves. I think it's pretty cool. Like I said, my cup of tea may not be yours. Um, with that said, ladies and gents, I'm going to conclude this video. I will have more content coming. I do have a lot of stuff that I need to film and record and, and get it out there. It's just I've been swamped with work. Uh, I make really good money for a living, but I don't have a lot of time to myself. There's always a catch to something, right? So with that said, ladies and gents, that's going to conclude this one. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.